23 years old, living with my mother in the house where I grew up. Memories of my father are dimly stored in my memory, but I can't recall his face or his presence. He died when I was only two years old, leaving behind a void that not even time could fill. Since then, my mom has been my anchor, the pillar that held our little family together. One day a guest appeared on our doorstep, an old high school friend of my mom's. She was the epitome of elegance and beauty, her brown hair framing her delicate features. Her eyes held a deep gaze, and her smile radiated a warmth that could melt even the coldest heart. She held herself with grace, her every movement radiating confidence and composure. It seemed that time had only added to her beauty leaving her untouched by her passing. When she crossed the threshold of our house, her presence seemed to radiate a soft glow, filling the space with an aura of nostalgia and familiarity. She explained that she had come to town to visit her aging mother and reconnect with old acquaintances. But it was impossible not to notice how her eyes lingered on me, studying my features with curiosity and something else I couldn't decipher. The next day, on my way home from work, I ran into my mom's friend again. She offered me a ride and asked me to tell her how things were going in the city. Over the next few days, our conversations grew longer and longer, and a bond developed between us. We found common interests, shared stories, and gradually a passionate romance took hold. It was a whirlwind a storm of emotions I had never experienced before. She invited me to her house. I accepted the offer. At home, she poured me a glass of wine and told me to wait in the hall. Ten minutes later, she came back in a red robe and sat down next to me. I was very afraid as I had never had a close relationship with a girl before. She understood that very well. Putting her hand on my shoulder, she said to me in a soft voice, I'll teach you everything, trust me. We went to the bedroom. It was the most unforgettable night of my life. She let me do whatever I wanted. There was so much passion in us that I thought the bed wouldn't hold. Within a week, our passionate romance flourished and I was mesmerized by the intensity of our relationship. Our sport was great, let's call it that. We didn't confine ourselves to the bed. We exercised wherever we could, in the car, in the bathroom of a coffee shop, the garage, and even the movie theater. Her moans at the moment of exercising turned me on terribly. She was experienced and very passionate. Her lessons were not in vain. In my 23 years, I was much more experienced than my peers. But suddenly after a week she disappeared. Calls went unanswered, and it seemed like she disappeared from town altogether. For years later, I found myself in New York City. Walking past a coffee shop, I saw my mom's friend, now a woman with a baby in her arms. I couldn't just walk away curiosity, and anxiety made me approach her. We got to talking, and I asked the question that had been on my mind all these years. Why didn't you tell me about the baby? I couldn't tell you because it didn't exist then. It's our baby, she said. Her eyes softened and she began to explain. She confessed that she was deeply in love with my father and when he chose my mother, it shattered her. The pain of losing him had haunted her all these years. When she saw me, a living echo of the man she loved, a longing flared up in her. She longed to have some part of him a connection she could call her own. And when she realized she was pregnant, she considered it a gift of fate. She said she wouldn't ask me for child support, and if I wanted to, she'd let me see the baby. Now I do not know how to act. I have a girlfriend with whom we are going to get married. I'm afraid to tell her that I have a child. She might take it as cheating. So I decided to keep it a secret. 